सदा शिव सरंभा शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा सहनावतु सह नौ भुनक् सह वीर्जंकवाह तेजस्वी नवधीतमस्तु मिषा वह ओ शाति 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 यम ब्रह्मा वरुणेन्द्र रुद्रमुता स्वंति दिव्य वेद सांगपद्रमोपनिषद गायती यम साम ध्यानावस्थित तदेन मनसा पश्यती यम योगि यन्न विदुसुरा सुरगण देवाय तस्म नम देवाय तस्म नम अविभक्त भूतेषु अविभक्त भूतेषु विभक्त स्थित विभक्त स्थित भूत भर्तृच तेय भूत भर्तृच तेय ग्रसीु प्रभ विष्णु ग्रसीु प्रभ विष्णु ज्योतिषापी त्योति ज्योतिषापी त्योति तमस परमुच्य तमस परमुच्य ज्ञान ज्ञेय ज्ञानगम्य ज्ञान ज्ञेय ज्ञानगम्य हृदय सर्वस्य विष्ठित क्षेत्रमी क्षेत्र तथा ज्ञान ज्ञेय चोक्त सामसत ज्ञेय चोक्त सामसत मद्भक्त मद्भक्त मद्भावायोपद्य मद्भावायोपद्य प्रकृति पुषं चकृति पुषं चनादी उभावपी विद्यनादी उभावपी विकारा गुणा विकारा गुणा विधि प्रकृति संभवान् विधि प्रकृति संभवान् कार्य करण कर्तृत्वे कार्य करण कर्तृत्वे हेतु प्रकृति रुच्यते हेतु प्रकृति रुच्यते पुरुष सुख दुखानाम पुरुष सुख दुखानाम भोक्तृत्वे हेतुच्य भोक्तृत्वे हेतुच्य पुष प्रकृति पुष प्रकृति भुंक्ते प्रकृति जान्गुण भुंक्ते प्रकृति जान्गुण कारण गुण संगोस्य कारण गुण संगोस्य सदसो निजन्मसो सदसो निजन्मसु सगेन पुरुष प्रकृति स्थो पुरुष प्रकृति स्थो 
भुंगते प्रकृति जान गुणान भुंगते प्रकृति जान गुणान कारण गुण संगोस्य कारण गुण संगोस्य सदसद्यो निजन्मसु सदसद्यो निजन्मसु So in the last shloka, number 20, Prakriti hi karya karana kartritve etu hu. So here, Krishna is dividing the world, the world of the human being into kartritvam and bhoktritvam. Correct? Prakriti hi karana muchyate kartritve. Prakriti is what makes this guy a karta. Or in all these actions, the world of actions is made possible by Prakriti. The world of action, the life of a human being is all action, action, action. Even the animal doesn't know this. Animal doesn't think it's it's doing so many things, etc. It is led a tough life and you know how my children were born, you know, all that. Uh, he doesn't know all that. He doesn't tell a big history of, about all the traumas I went through. You don't know about my life. If you read my autobiography, you will tell yourself, my God, thank God I was not born like her. All these things, this, this dialogue animals don't do. But human beings, karya karana kartrutva, that kartrutva is a magic. It does the magic and uh, who does the magic? Prakriti hi hetu ruchyate. We saw that last time. What about Purusha? Where is this Purusha? Purusha is Bhoktritve Karanam. A. Once a Karta is there, Bhokta is there. Or one, once the Bhokta is there, Karta is there. Is Kartritvam the cause for Bhoktritvam or Bhoktritvam is the cause for Kartritvam? A trick question. It's hard to say that. But because Purusha is fundamental, if Purusha creates Bhoktritvam, then, okay, Bhoktritvam, I am an experiencer. And because I want to experience things, I have to do something. Okay. Look at this, look at the, how the Srishti is. Look at how the Srishti is. I am a Bhokta and I need this, I need that, I need to experience this and that. Now, for a guy who wants to experience if the person cannot act, if the free will is not there, then that, that Bhaktritam is incomplete, right? You ask me to do something, you ask me to get a degree, but then you don't tell me all the tools that are available to get a degree. Nothing, I know nothing. What colleges are there, I don't know. Nothing, I don't have any contacts with professors, teachers, no counselors, nothing. And then you're asking me to get a degree. How is that? Don't work. So, when there is a desire for something, the desire to, the capacity to achieve that also must be given to us. That is what Srishti, that's what makes Srishti complete. Okay? So, that's the approach Krishna seems to have taken in the previous shloka. Purushaha Sukadukkana Bhoktirutve. The fact that I am an experiencer tells me that I am a conscious being and don't look around for Purusha everywhere. First, identify the Purusha in yourself. Okay. And he is not stopped there. 21 also is going to. Go to answer the question. Where is this Purusha? You are talking about the whole world is Prakriti. Okay. Whole world is Prakriti. Okay. The world is gone. Then where is Purusha? Where is Purusha? So, that is the question. Here. So, you know, the, the, the tenth man story. How many of you know the tenth person or the tenth man story? Okay. So, many of you know, I don't see every, all, everybody has not raised their hand. So, I have to assume some of you don't know the tenth man story. How many of you do not know the tenth man story? Good. So, there are at least six, seven, eight, nine people. Okay. That's good. So there was there was a there was an acharya 
those days you have to imagine those days when in the in the in the middle of forest there is a hut with with the gurukulam there's a gurukulam there and students are all there and they are learning vedas they are learning and uh, what kind of vacation they get they can't go to disneyland and things like that their their idea of vacation is okay you know the, that that ashram there you know that we want to go and meet those children you know so vacation time means you have to go to another ashram and then play with the children that's all it is and i don't know how they communicate that okay this guruji calls that guruji and i don't know how they do all that but assume that somehow they have decided to go to the other ashram so it's a, it's a, it's a walk and uh, it will take them an hour to walk and all that but that's not a problem for these kids i want to walk and all we are going to, it's, it's all a picnic right so they went ten of them went from the ashram guruji did not <clears throat> and so the, the, the which he told him told the 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 eldest oldest one be careful 10 10 10 of you are there so yes there is a river to cross and all that and so a stream has to be crossed and uh, so just be careful and all. so then <clears throat> they all went <clears throat> so it was raining the previous day so the, the stream was uh, above its normal levels and so it's okay the, the boys crossed the river crossed the stream and then uh, just to check this leader was counting everybody is there or not he counted and uh, there were nine people nine and then he said uh, no no that's not possible there were 10 of us again he counted nine then he said uh, wait 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 guys just be silent okay just stand just sit quiet just stand like that i want to he counted nine and he panicked he panicked panicked because one person is lost in this in this commotion in this crossing the stream and now one person is gone because there is no way i mean every each to each is own you know so the stream was also bit uh, bit on the faster side so he the fears are growing and then while this was going on somebody just walked past there some some older looking person and he asked him what what is wrong what's going on why are you crying no I, we lost uh, we lost a person we just crossed we are from the ashram and we came here and we lost how many of you were there a uh, 10 of you were 10 of us were there how many of you are here now we are only nine now then that person understood what the problem is and so he said so he told the leader ask them to stand in the line ask them to stand and then okay now start counting start counting you you count okay so this boy was counting 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 there are only nine people right <clears throat> okay all right nine people are there correct yes nine people are there you are the 10th you are the 10th man you are the 10th boy really this guy this panic struck panic stricken boy started smiling and everybody also was happy because this they didn't know what the problem was but this guy knew what the problem was and he said guruji this is you have saved my life my guruji would have scolded me and i don't know what all he would have done to me and he's a pretty angry guruji also and i think you you have done wonders you've done wonders guruji has done, this man has done wonders right and this is this is called the 10th man story why is it important it's important because if i search for purusha somewhere else that purusha will not be available this purusha is right here and this is the beauty of vedanta and if this and the entire vedanta is this only there is nothing more than this that's why 
some of the new students may be wondering so magic is going to happen this is the magic okay this is the magic it is a story but a very important story it may be a fictitious story also doesn't matter it's a very real story as far as we are concerned and so like that purushah prakritisto he is going to say in the next shloka right and uh, it's a continuation of this set of shlokas from 20 to 24 purushah and prakriti are being talked about by sri krishna and last time we saw right what are the what is what is uh, common between purusha and prakriti ubhav anadi what did he say before uh, anadi ubhavapi so both of them are anadi purusha is also anadi prakriti also is anadi means beginningless from beginningless time <clears throat> it was there even before time came into being prakriti was there okay that is the meaning of that <clears throat> okay anadi plus what plus these two they team up purusha and prakriti team up to create this world prakriti can't create the world without purusha because prakriti doesn't exist without purusha <clears throat> purusha can't create the world there is because there is no kartritva for purusha there is no desire for purusha therefore creation can't happen they have to join forces join hands like they say you know like sometimes you know these wars and all that they try to find out who is behind these wars right who is supplying the who is supplying the weapons to all these hamas people somebody has to supply who is what's going on so like that some teamwork is always there and so and therefore <clears throat> and so i try to come back to purusha here purusha here and we saw in katopurishad indriyebhya parakhyarta arthebhyascha param aha manasastu para buddhihi udheratma mahan paraha mahata param abhyaktam abhyaktat purusha paraha like that we saw there and something similar also we saw in bhagavad gita that comes in comes in uh, one of the chapters Seven. Third chapter, right? Yeah. Third chapter, last uh, end of third chapter. Ah, correct. You're right. Indriya. Look at the last two verses of the third chapter, right? Indriya aniparan yahu hu. Indriye bhyapara manaha manasastu para buddhi. A superior to all these objects. is the senses superior superior in quotes okay superior to all the senses is the mind superior to the mind is the buddhi superior to the buddhi is what buddhe buddhehe paratas tu sah 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 purushah is is superior to buddhi means what uh, guruji Without... we had said satler we had said subtler 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 okay subtler is a better word and katopurishad shankaracharya gave a better meaning to all that param which means subtler more expansive closer to the nature of atma all these things we remember right some three or four meaning shankaracharya had given had given so that evam buddhe param buddhva samstat atma anand ಆಲ್ಸೋ okay and so that purusha is there here in this body prakritistha purusha prakritistho hi meaning of prakritistha means what prakritau tishtati iti prakritistha in this prakriti purusha is there you don't have to look around 
stop searching that is the meaning stop your you, you stop looking upwards stop looking upwards and stop stop that it is needed initially it is needed to gain the bhakti that there is an all pervasive ishvara you can't know without bhakti without puja parayan it's not possible without being born in india also some people will say this karma bhumi only can give that idea anywhere else you talk to the children of indian parents in america many of them will cry because i don't know my children are are questioning everything i do and where do i start please do something that's how it is that bhumi makes a big difference and uh, so so where is this purusha deham pranam api indriyanya pichalam buddhim cha shunyam vidu if if purusha is here if somebody says here means what is the body the purusha i i, I am the purusha i am the body correct no you are not the body deham pranam dakshinamurti stotra pranam okay maybe i am the senses maybe i am this physiological system deham pranam api indriyanya pichalam buddhihi indriyani all sense organs no chalam buddhihi the 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 one one group of buddhists come and say it is chalam buddhi it is a buddhi that flickers flickers of consciousness chalam buddhi api chalam buddhim cha shunyam viduhu oh you idiots you guys don't know what you're talking you are shunyam you don't exist at all you think you exist that's it sounds sounds very profound these things are all that's why indian that's why the west can never understand indians because we also have our own views and one fellow says you are complete one fellow says you are incomplete one fellow says you are empty one fellow says you are full one fellow says you are going to become full by going to heaven all the philosophies of the world are all there in india only and using the same bhagavad gita we explain everything else this feel like just going like this correct therefore purusha ha putra asti where is this purusha and uh, we have to begin entertaining the possibility that i exist first we have to believe that if this belief is not <laughs> minimum we have to accept that uh, otherwise the life will this whole vedanta will become quote and quote theoretical theoretical that one existence is enough we can hold on to that and go all the way all the way and uh, then you so you recognize space here where is space is is there space in this room yeah of course there is space in this room. what about next door next room next door yeah yeah it's all space what about outside a oh, lot of space is there outside oh a lot of space is there how many spaces are there many spaces correct in fact every plot there is a piece of paper that says it belongs to him her me and all that so many plots are there so many spaces are there the guy who says there is so many spaces the guy who says the space is divided by all these walls and buildings and this burj and this building and tall building and trees everything is just dividing spaces these days the cities are all divided the space must be so sad that it's all divided up that's how it appears we will say the guy who says that the space is divided seems to be spaced out he is spaced out he is in a different world altogether you guy you have to better sort this out whether space is divided or not sort it out okay sort it out first and so no space is not divided if we can accept that space is not divided then this consciousness this purusha also is like that. better accept the possibility that consciousness also is like space all pervasive undivided that is the way we have to go and so earlier itself he had said purushaha sukha dukha nam bhoktrutve hetaruchyate in the previous shloka and so that purusha begin to identify the purusha here prakriti stha ki Okay, identify the 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 purusha is is one that that makes me 
makes me experience the world. Hey, this wall doesn't experience the world. Even the tree is able to experience the world, but to a very limited extent. It can't even express. And uh, the body, though, human body is just amazing. It can interact with the world and it can analyze the world also. And it can get depressed and it can question, why am I depressed? Why is life like this? Why am I born like this? Only a human being can ask that question. No tree, no dog, even the limping dog. The dog is limping, poor dog. Where it got hurt, we don't know. Which car went over this dog's leg, we don't know. He doesn't blame society for all its problems. But I have the, I blame society for all my So it's a very complex being. And so, but then under that complexity, recognize the purusha that is there, that allows me, that gives me all these capacities, the abilities, right? So, this Chaitanyam is the Purusha. Not the body, not the senses. Okay. So, Purushaha Prakritisto, he, one school teacher, high school, 12th grade, that she decided, you know, our children must be exposed to Vedanta. Because Vedanta, you have, to, you have to know, you can't grow up and then after 50, 60, get confused, they better get exposed to Vedanta. And so, they, they had a lecture and all. Some, somebody came and spoke to them. Then, the, the next day, again, school continues, right? School doesn't stop. And so, she's taking the roll call, attendance, and then starting alphabetical order. Anil, yes ma'am, present. And then next, Amrita present in alphabetical. And then Babu, yes ma'am. And then Chetna, yes ma'am. Yes ma'am. And then all along this teacher is noticing in the back bench, this Vivek is sitting. Vivek's hands are raised like this. Constantly, he's been raising the hand right from the beginning. Said, Wait a minute, Vivek, what's your problem? I didn't call your name yet. Alphabetical, we are still in A, okay? You are B. Just this guy says, Ma'am, I was always present. I am present now. I will always be present. This teacher is saying, My goodness. <laughs> I thought these mischievous people, at least this Vedanta will keep them quiet. These people are just, they're multiplied. Their mischief has multiplied. Shut up. And then she goes. She, she says, okay, ma'am. Then she goes, A, B, C, D, and everything. Then V comes. Vivek. Then Vivek is silent. Vivek, what happened? Ma'am, Atma has no hands, no legs. Atma cannot raise hands. <laughs> this teacher says, what, my karma, what can I do? At least in India, they will say my karma and then keep moving on. And so, so the, why did I say this? A, Atma may have no hands and legs, but it doesn't mean you should stop behaving normally like other Ajnanis also. Ajnanis also should behave like Ajnanis. Earlier he said, what did he say? Krishna said that. What I didn't say, I'm not saying it. Krishna said it. Where did Krishna say that? Uh, second chapter? I don't think it is second chapter. No. Na buddhi bedam janayet ajnanam karma sanginam joshayet sarva karmani Like that, there is, a, there is a mantra. Okay. Na buddhi bedam janayet Hey, you may be a jnani. But it, when somebody calls you, just respond. Do stuff like everybody else does. You can't say, Atma doesn't need any coffee, doesn't need any water, and so I will just sit quiet. No, don't do all that. Body needs water. Body needs food. Accept it. Don't be... There is, if you didn't know that, you really did not understand Vedanta. Okay? And so, for Yavahar, all this is fine. Body, mind, sense, complex. <clears throat> Everything is there. And uh, let it be. Let things be as they are. And so, 
when the when the, when the, when the your purohit comes home you know you have to do shraddham and all you have to pick up pick the time and rahu kalam everything has to be looked up and uh, he comes and says and you come and tell him there is no rahu kalam rahu kalam is mithya in fact time itself is mithya forget rahu kalam all this this yamagandam rahu kalam karana yoga it's all mithya you are satyam and then he will smile at you and says okay okay i know you are studying vedanta ama sir we may may go along with you also yes you are right you are right and then he may come second day again next time he comes you do it third time you do this he will say you know what thank you sir i will send somebody else next time i <laughs> i'm done with you because they can't handle all this who wants to handle all these things you keep your vedanta to you we have come to do shraddham okay mama upata you repeat the mantras exactly i i tell you you don't tell me your mantras your katopanishad mantras you keep it with you that's what he will say so just just stick with yourself purushaha prakritistho hi bhunte that's what krishna is saying here purushaha bhunte bhunte means experiences purushaha bhunte purusha experiences so seems similar to the previous shloka and uh, ಪುರುಷಾ <laughs> and then he will need a vacation this that all this required no if ishwara requires vacation then we are all finished and so no that that is that's not the way to look at it and uh, it's like it's like it's like you you turned on the gas and then to cook and then and then you burnt your finger what happened for oh, the gas burnt my finger the fire burnt my finger and so you ask the fire did you burn my finger i say yes i burnt my finger your finger why did you burn your my finger no i didn't burn your finger what i thought you just said you burnt my finger yes i burnt your finger but then you're now saying i didn't burn your finger yeah i didn't burn your finger what is this you're blowing hot and cold like this i i so that is how, that's how the conversation will become hey fire burnt the finger that is because it is fire it's the nature of fire if something comes in the way it will burn that is its nature it the fire does not have any kartritvam does not have any kartritvam the sun is shining the sun is illuminating the entire earth on half of the earth it is illuminate no kartrutvam in what correct no kartrut it yeah, that's its nature to illuminate and so here also it is the same way will free burning fire is doing what burning but will free burning sun is what shining will free shining willless swami ji says willless willless shining willless illumination yeah that is how it is that's the nature that is the nature of fire that is the nature of sun etc and so this burning illuminating shining etc they are all verbs but verbs without agency in those contexts no agency is there whereas if you tell somebody please will you bring me a torchlight flashlight because the power is off and please shine it means there when you shine there very much agency is there kartrutvam is there but for the surya there is no kartrutvam and so similarly here also purushaha bhunte purushaha bhunte 
Sannidhi Matre na just by being there. Just like sun is there, illumination will be there automatically. Like that. Purusha, just by being there, just allows all these experiences to happen. Okay. <clears throat> and then being where? Purusha ha prakritistohi. Prakritistha means what? Being in this prakriti, in this case, the body, the jiva we are talking about, means body is also prakriti. Prakritistha hi. Okay. And uh, situated in this body mind sense complex is the meaning of prakritistha. And uh, because without, with, see, open space is not useful to people. Only the enclosed space is really useful. You can say, okay, I have a house, I need to do something, whatever I do, I do. And open space, you can't, you can do certain things, but really life it only happens in enclosed spaces. And so, for space to be useful, it has to be enclosed. Too enclosed also problem. Oh, it's very, very claustrophobic. Okay, fine. Just do what you have to do and then get some space. Okay. So, enclosed space is useful like that. This consciousness is essentially useless. But for it to be useful, it has to be manifest in a body like this. Okay. As though enclosed by Prakriti. Yeah, Purusha as though enclosed. And so... And then Shankaracharya stretches the meaning of Prakriti a little because he he knows what Krishna had said earlier. What is the meaning of what did we say? Purushaha Prakriti Purusha is located in this body. We said that. But earlier Krishna had said Matstani Sarva Bhutani. What? Matsthani Sarva Bhutani. All beings are in me. Which means there he is saying Prakriti is in me. And then followed up by saying Nacha, Nachaham Teshu Avastitaha. And I am not there in, other, in, other, in Bhutani. I am not there in beings. Beings are in me. Remember that shloka. Where does it come? Seventh chapter or something like that. Correct? I yeah. forget where it is. But it will get there. Huh? Ninth chapter. Nine, is it? nine four. Nine four. Okay. Matsta, Nisar. So, so Aishwaram. Pashyame Yoga Aishwaram. What an important shloka it is. Yeah. Nine four. Maya tatamidam sarvam. Jagadavyakta murtina. Matsta, Nisarva bhutani. Nachaham teshva vastitaha. So Shankara is concerned now. There he said, I am not in any being. Here he is saying, Prakriti, I am in Prakriti, which means I am in all beings. So Shankara's commentary, look at this. You know what he says? He says, Prakritim Atma Bhavena Gataha. This, he brings Avidya here. He says, hey, he, this Jiva has confused the body to be Atma. The Jiva has confused the body to be Atma. I am no better than the body. I am the body in fact. When the body is sick, I am sick. When the body is tall, I am tall. When the body is dark, I am dark. Like this. Atma Bhavena Gataha. So he stretches the meaning. right? Not simply I am in Prakriti. Purusha is in Prakriti. He doesn't say that. He doesn't stop he says, it means, it means, Purusha may be in Prakriti, but really Prakriti depends on Purusha. So it is something like saying, what says, clay is in me. What says, what? Clay is in me. That means I am greater and I am giving, I am very generous guy. So, I allowed the clay to stay in me for some time. Correct? There is a meaning. More clay is in me means it can't be true. That can't be true. And so, Shankara doesn't allow us to think like that. And he says, no, pot is, pot is confused. Atma bhavena gataha. Prakritim atma bhavena gataha. 
ghatam vrittika bhavena gata means what hey this pot has thought that if the pot is me instead of saying i am clay i am pot he says that's a big mistake that's what chakracharya is saying and krishna is going to say that mistake again how is he going to say it okay all right this prakriti this purusha bhukte experiences experiences what prakriti jan gunan okay all the gunas everything experience means what something has to change to say i experience this your tea is good means what means i have had so many teas among all those teas your teas tastes even better even better so some guna has to be there taste some combination has to be there some feeling feeling has to be good so that guna bhungte purusha guna bhungte purusha experiences these attributes qualities guna and what kind of guna they are prakriti jan guna who created all these gunas prakriti born of prakriti born of prakriti whatever is created will have the gunas of the cause of the creation the the properties of the clay has to appear as the properties of the pot because pot is a created object clay is the creating source and so properties of the source will have to be found in the object also okay and so like that prakriti jan guna prakriti is also sattvika right not sattvika trigunatmika trigunatmika maya prakriti and therefore this guna also the jagat also must be trigunatmika therefore the body also has to have all attributes and so those attributes purusha quote and quote experiences okay now look <clears throat> then how, what is the reason for that what is the reason for that kind of a confusion of the jiva to to take the body as the self whole world is experienced this guy is so smart he doesn't confuse himself with anything he experiences world is so big okay experiencing everything in this world the drive was good the car is new i love the car i love the car but i am not the car he never says i am the car even though he says i am going at 60 miles per hour he is speaking this guy is a car poor car is going at 60 miles per hour then he says i am going at 60 miles per hour okay fine but he never mistakes himself to be the car never even though the car is new and he loves it so much he doesn't make that mistake no mistake is made i am in my house i love this house i am in the house only he says he doesn't say i am the house the fan is rotating he doesn't say i am rotating no such mistake is made but when it comes to the body but he also is an object of experience just like the car but body goes wherever i go the body goes with me and the body is used whatever i do the body is involved mind is involved senses are involved therefore there is this anyonya adhyasa is there there is so much closeness between atma and the body that this agnyanam karanam guna guna sangosya asya 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 means jivasya this jiva guna sangaha asya karana the cause for the confusion in the human being is this guna sangaha i just associate with the gunas of the body and i take myself to be the body this is what krishna is saying here asya karanam the karanam for purusha to be prakriti stha okay and we said that statement you know is not correct correct to not correct means what it means means what shankara says it means that the guy is taken the, has taken the body to be himself and that is because karana what is that asya 
अस्य पुरुषस्य गुण संघ गुण संघ इज अटैच टू द गुण सो मच दट इज अनेबल टू सेपरेट द टू अनेबल टू सेपरेट द टू एंड सो मिस्टेक द प्रकृति टू बी पुरुष Prakriti has been taken as purusha. At least the body prakriti has been taken as purusha, and so, and so. Therefore, now what happens? Now I experience wellness, then I experience illness, and I don't like to experience illness, so I have to become well. Nothing wrong in that, but this confusion is there, and therefore the whole life. From sukhi, sukhi, I have become dukhi. Now I have to become sukhi. Then, by without my desire, I have become dukhi. I have to push myself and make myself a sukhi. And there is no end to this. There can't be any end to this. Correct. That is why. That is why sadasad yoni janmasu. Sadasad yoni janmasu. This mistake, this guna sangha. Without using the word avidya, he is not bringing the word avidya. Avidya is implied. This guna sangha huh, is the cause for all these births. Tad asat yoni janmasu. Here, sad and asat has to be interpreted as sad yoni means a good birth, a good birth, a birth that is considered commonly as. A, as something that everybody looks forward to, a, a, a life that one looks forward. To. That's called sad yoni. It can be deva yoni. It can be manusya yoni. Right? Durlabham trayame vaitat deva nukraha hetu kam. Shakra charya viveka chudamani. This durlabham. Three things are durlabham. Very difficult to achieve. Durlabham trayame vaitati. What are these? Deva nugraha hetukam. All these three are just anugraha. Devas, Ishwaras, anugraha. And tell me what those three are. Manushyatvam. Just the human life itself is a rare thing. And then what? Mumukshutvam. And then having a human body on top of that, recognizing there is something called moksha. Something called moksha. This is I've been lost in so many things. There is something called moksha. I want that moksha. That is called mumukshutvam. Recognize moksha, and then now I want that moksha. I have to get it. Nothing else is important in my life now. That is called mumukshutvam. Then further, manushyatvam, mumukshutvam, mahapurusha samshraya. How am I going to get this moksha? Hey, you have to be associated with. Mahapurusha Sangaha, not Guna Sangaha. From Guna Sangaha, I have to go to Mahapurusha Sangaha. Correct. Beautiful it is. And uh, therefore, that is that. Therefore, that that is a sad yoni, sad manusya yoni itself is sad yoni. And then what? Asad yoni. Anything else? Asad yoni can be a very tough life in human body itself, or it can be lower. Plants, insects, animals, then lower lokas and all. What lives are there? We don't know. And all lokas are all asad yoni. And uh, yoni. Literal meaning of yoni is a womb. That which causes a birth is called a yoni. And so that's they translate yoni as a womb. Guna sangaha. Is the cause for Purusha confusing himself to be Prakriti, which then creates so many different births. Sadasad Yoni Shu. Okay, that is the way to look at this entire shloka. And uh, so Punarapi Janamam, Punarapi Maranam, etc. Right causes is what he is saying here. So let's translate the shloka. <clears throat> Residing in prakriti, residing in courts, residing in prakriti, 
or obtaining in prakriti. Sometimes they use the word obtaining. To, to not to, to remove that meaning of residing. Residing means either I'm residing in this house. If I say house is huge, it is so many floors, house, and then I am there sitting inside, right? That also meaning can come. And <clears throat> just to avoid that, they will say obtaining in the prakriti. Being in Prakriti, but pervading that Prakriti also, they say. Either way is fine. Residing in Prakriti, as long as you understand it properly. The Purusha experiences residing in Prakriti. The Purusha experiences the Gunas born of Prakriti. The Gunas born of Prakriti. stop. Attachment to the gunas is attachment to the gunas is the cause of birth Attachment to the gunas is the cause of birth in superior and inferior wombs. Attachment to the gunas is the cause of birth in superior and inferior wombs. We repeat that. Residing in Prakriti, the Purusha experiences the gunas born of Prakriti. Full stop. Attachment to the gunas is the cause of birth in superior and inferior wombs. Okay. So we'll stop with that and uh, after this just we can stay back for a five minutes. I want to say something. <clears throat> yeah, we'll just chant the mantra in a minute. So I want to you know, we are we are running a lot of seva activities. And some of you know it, others may not know it that well because we don't we don't advertise all these things, what we do. And we're doing a lot of work quietly. So we're running a tuition center in Mysore, uh, where we are supporting almost 65 children from middle school all the way to college and job also. Okay. And uh, it's been going on for about nine, eight, nine years now. Started with about 10 children. And now we are, we are, it's a huge project for us, right? Taking care of 65 children. And then we've grown a little bit in Coimbatore also around in Tamil Nadu. We are sponsoring college education for some youth. And then uh, this, uh, and then temple revival. We started with temple revival. Now we are going into interior villages and then where the puja paddhati is also not being practiced. And so we started with this uh, deeper puja. Velaku puja we call in, in Tamil Nadu. Means uh, you bring the ladies together and use the lamp, light the lamp and worship the, invoke Devi in the lamp and worship. And it worked wonders when we did it last year. And now they are wanting more and more. And so we've been doing that. So we give, you know, these things. Uh, we buy these packets, puja packets, and it costs about 1,000 rupees. We give it to everybody and then do that. Then along the way, we got some, we got a call from a school, a, a school, a government school in a rural area. Then why don't we do something to our children? So we conducted a quiz competition. And on some local culture, you know, history, Ramayana, Mahabharata, and this thing, they loved it so much. It was just two, three hours, okay? Then we gave them prizes and all that. Government school doesn't have all these kinds of funds. No way, no chance. So we, we did all that. And we provided lunch also. They loved it so much. Within two weeks, we got calls from many other schools. Why don't you do this to us also? The problem, then only we realized the problem in our state here. 
our state what happened there is a particular funny thing going on and over the history historically the governance in the state has been anti hindu kind of culture so the government schools have been deprived of any cultural awareness it's and you can't sing this you can't national songs you can't sing this that all these problems are so they are just charmed of all these things that's what that we that we realized it after doing all this and so we started doing it and it's now caught fire caught fire we we to we hired buses and we got children to the central place and conducted a intra inter school competition from intra we went to inter so it was it was very very nice to see it but then we got a call from the from the district from the collector's office they is called a deo district educational office the deo called the principals and asked them what's going on what are you guys doing and so principal called our srinivasan who is doing all this work in rajapali way and then srinivasan ji called me and said what should we do this is a problem this is a typical problem in our state and any good work you do there is always the government itself is the first one to stand in the way that's the problem then i we discussed and we said yeah i think you should go and meet the dee just meet him face to face and have a nice chat let him see you let explain to him what you're doing etc uh, but let's see what happened this this the, he spoke to him and he, and then not that the dee doesn't know what's going what is the big deal then he said and then shiva singh asked him point blank if your child is studying in these schools would you like these things to happen or not it is a tough call you know you dealing with these people is tough. we don't know which way the discussion will go after some time you know what the do said okay okay you do what you have to do you don't tell me anything about it i don't know what you're doing and you don't know that you spoke to me okay this is what happened and so each decided to keep quiet and keep doing what we're doing and nothing written anywhere we are in fact not we are not scared to even publish photographs facebook these days we are putting a lot of stuff on facebook if you have not seen it we'll send you the link okay and uh, it's how funny the way things are happening you know and we 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 have to do we like to do these things we have to do it children have to become aware of our culture otherwise what kind of education are we teach so it's all a funny line we just balancing our acts like in this particular state in karnataka is not a problem and so all these things are going on but for the first time in 4 5 years we are facing a fund crunch and our mahesh ji said we were fa- we were short of 13 lakhs this year and so that's about 17000 dollars or something like that not big we are a very small organization compared to others but still uh, for the first time you know i'm having to make a personal appeal like this we'll send you some more information but um, some of you have donated and so we are happy about that thanks to you we are, we are we are moving forward but if you think you have you were thinking of donating then now is a great time to 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 support these activities and we are now on facebook and our uh, our rupniji son is is doing all the postings on facebook uh, and he's also doing it for amritanand mai in the us he's he's doing it for their facebook page and so he's he's offered his seva services to us so we're very happy about that because we just people have to know what we're doing right otherwise uh, who's to, uh, we people can't figure out what's happening it's not possible it's not like people are going to our website every day and, and it's also good that you're not visiting our website because our website is static and every four or three months only it changes and so nothing there is no activity there so i think facebook is probably a good uh, good uh, medium i think to for us to update everybody what uh, so anyway i wanted to just share that with you and uh, so please inform others also who might be interested in this kind of work we started a temple revival interior villages in tamil nadu there are big temples but they are all not used at all even puja is not happening even lamp is not lighted we purchased tins and tins of oil for the temples and we gave it to them and these guys used to do it and uh, 
in some places it was not still not working properly we had to monitor and we spent so much time monitoring and that we said you know this is not working out unless the community takes up the responsibility there is nothing we can do we can provide all these things but community has to own up and say yeah we, we i will take it up three times a day i light the lamp three times a day i'll do puja i will take care of it. just give me the oil in this flowers etc so we did this for two three four months five months we struggled then for, and then we hired somebody to go around to the temples and then to to make sure things are happening then it was partially successful then we said it's a waste of time we we won't do this we need people who will come forward and so but soon uh, we had some good people that is taking uh, we did a pradosha puja a shivaratri puja in one temple okay means all night long bhajan everything kirtan and we'll provide the prasad and then we provided prasad right in the middle of the night 1 o'clock 2 o'clock four youngsters barged in barged in and said what's going on they just came he ate the prasad from the temple whatever things they pulled the plates out behaved in a very unruly manner who are you they pointed to sinavas what is going on everybody pin drop silence and uh, now just uh, shivaratri we are celebrating and then after a commotion of half an hour one hour they left and then sinavasan ji asked them what is this then they said this is how things happen this is how things happen in our place this is what we have to deal with and so now the, 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 we told sinavasan ji no you you are not going to this temple anymore you are not exposing yourself because these people can 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 do a lot of damage a lot of damage and so but uh, so now the, the, the village village people from the villages they are they are taking the lead and we we'll, unless we have to be present somewhere we won't be present so these risks are also there but uh, but we are happy so we are making a lot of progress our children you know there is something called g20 how many of you have heard of g20 yeah g20 until now for me g20 was something some people are meeting somewhere and they're flying to france and flying to london and alps and all that they have g20 meeting okay what has that got to do with us but this time what happened india became the chair of the global g20 and then it has many tracks there is the governance track there is civil track there is education track there is this that so the civil track the leader for the civil track is this amritanand mai trust amma amma was the chair person of the civil track for the entire world okay and uh, then one of the directors in amrita she is a student in our sanskrit class so she sent us an invitation she loved she loves what we do and all the seva we do she knows so she invited us she invited me to be part of this seatment and so we attended meetings and all we were invited invited to go to some places but we couldn't go but koyambattur there was one meeting with some leaders to come not leaders actually this whole initiative was for leaders who are in the ground working in the ground to advise governments on policy what is the government doing right what should we do you come and tell us you are the guys in the field you tell us very interesting initiative and so they india did it that way and so we sent our children from mysore to here koyambattur four of them came uh, and uh, they were part of the meeting i didn't go i didn't go to the meeting they the children took care of all of that they wrote some public policy recommendations they were prepared and then we 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 discussed that and so they presented it so very interesting things like this happened and uh, thanks to all the support we are getting from out there and so anyway i i want to just give you a brief introduction like this mohan sai yeah wanted to say some uh, guru ji uh, uh, for non indian citizens so do you want to let them know that now we are fcra certified so they can okay right right so uh, see there is always this question in india about we're receiving money right so uh, indian organizations cannot receive foreign money 
they can't by law they can't but if you want to receive money you need a certification called uh, fcra fcra means foreign contribution regulation act it's an act uh, in the indian law and constitution and uh, the government you apply for it the government looks at who you are what they do etc and then uh, if they feel like you will use the money properly then they will give you that certification so we applied for it on, on april 1st <laughs> april 1st we applied and uh, turns out this uh, what the government has done is they have tightened the screws on fcra because foreign money is coming and is being used for all the wrong purposes all anti national movement only in india you find anti national movements anti government anti hindu this that anything you do from a temple perspective anti protest and the government realized this uh, this missionary movement is huge say they shut down they shut down 10000 fcra licenses in just one week some 3 4 years ago one week it's and so all the money they figured out so that is a good thing but but we suffer because we people are doing good work and so we have to bear the brunt of it so everybody all cs everybody told us oh if cra and all this day is a black hole we don't know what's going to happen it could be months it could be years we have you may not get it all so the cbi they interview the people so they interviewed the trustees the three of us they interviewed mysore sunita was interviewed and uh, kovil patti Deva Sanjay was interviewed. Then finally, after two months of that, they knocked on my door also. They called me in the morning. They said, "Sir, we are going to come and see you today. Make sure you have all these documents ready." Good, 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 good. He gave a big list of documents. And uh, for us, all documents are online. I don't keep any hard copies of anything. And so I said, "Oh, I quickly wrote down everything, and I, I, I sent the thing to print out. I sent all these things to my." a copy shop here and he will keep the printouts ready for me and so i went to pick it up they said i will come in the afternoon so i went in the morning and then by the time i i was there i'm getting a call i'm getting a call from this this apartment owners they call me sir sir is everything all right the police are here the police is here because the police van has come i said what everything is all right everything is all right nothing nobody is going to jail everything is all right and sir you please come soon and they call me sir where are, where are you we are at your house i said i'm just, i apologize for not being there but i am printing the very documents that you asked me to get and so i'll be there so i came here i apologized to two of them and then we had a chat one hour they were asking me all kinds of questions and uh, and we were very i was very happy to talk to them and i told them in my office this is my you are sitting in my office my office is actually here it's just the almost it is called the patio 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 that's what it's called in america here i don't know what they call it it's uh, just as you enter the, the door is opening and uh, before you even enter the house this is the out out area. yeah that so this is what it is from 6 in the morning to 11 in the night this is where i sit this is where i do my teaching my studying everything i do here i am not i i personally don't need anything in the minute of the day i have to find a way to serve society and strengthen our people this is my goal you've seen all those things here and so this is what we do a b c d everything i explained and my primary interest really is vedanta and sanskrit and i read shankaracharya's books here are the books look these are the things i love to read but the money i get i use for all these things at the end of that that interview he did namaskar to me this guy is a policeman he was impatient he was impatient he was just just kada kada writing down and he was asking no no oh, next next like that he was doing so finally he just said relax he said like this and then i went around and showed him this complex and all that and i went took him to his vehicle the police vehicle and there the security people are harassing this guy give me your number telephone number give me your this that where are you from etc is us and that that, that cba person told me or to take care of him like that <laughs> I said, "Don't worry, I'll take care of him." And they they are upset because they, 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 not a single vehicle has gone inside the complex in the last ten years without them noting down the number and phone number and name of the person. And now it's different. 
And so anyway, I, I was happy about all that. All interviews went well. So, but we didn't know what was happening. And our CA was saying, no, it's not, just don't ask anything about FCR. You applied, just leave it to Bhagavan. So they were teaching me about Karma Yoga and, and Prasada Buddhi and all that. I said, okay, Prasada Buddhi, we can handle that. We don't have a problem with Prasada Suddenly, two, three days ago, a message comes to us saying, your yeah, FCRA is approved. And I told the CA, CA said, auditor, our auditor said, you know what, Jay Kumar, Jay Kumar ji, I'm working on so many FCRA cases. They're all pending for many, many months. You got it in seven months. Maybe you have contacts in Delhi or something. I said, no contact in Delhi. You are my only contact. Okay, I am not spending time uh, this influence and all, I'm not used to doing, although we would love to get some contacts. No, I we didn't call anybody or know anything. And he said, uh, that I, maybe then something else must have worked for you. Maybe the interviews went well or whatever. So anyway, that's the short story. We are happy about it. And so those of you who want to, who are not Indian citizens who want to give who, you know, we've been going through rounds, you know, go to give to that organization, this, this Swamiji. You know. We've been using the money very well, by the way. Swamiji, what we do is we tell Swami Paramananda Ji to release funds to for paying fees. He directly sends the money to colleges. Directly. He can't give it to us and all because we are not qualified to get foreign money. <clears throat> foreign money, when it comes to India, is still called foreign money is categorized as foreign money and remains as foreign money, it has to be given directly to the recipient. What the government has done, the great thing the government did is previously the money could be channeled to other organizations. Now the government has said three, four years ago, the foreign money, if at all it can be transferred to another organization, that other organization should also have the FCRA certification. Previously it did not. Previously it did not. But now they did. So in that process, overnight, many organizations became bankrupt because they were all getting foreign money. Foreign money. And so, so that organization couldn't send money to us. Hmm. Swamiji used to send the fees and things like that. I used to be working with Swamiji for many years, so I know him very well. And so that's how it was working. So now it's a little, that process is eased up. And so we are, we are thankful to everybody for uh, for everything and Mahesh ji is there. He used to monitor all these money flows. Mahesh ji is maintaining spreadsheets. Who is giving what to whom and all. Some people send money to my personal account in the US. I have a US account also. And so Mahesh will make a note. Okay, so many dollars sent to Jai Kumar ji's account. So, so that I can transfer it to Asha Seva, Kendram, etc. So, so many things have been going on in the background. But uh, I want to tell you that we just got that certificate. Any, any other thoughts, Mahesh Ji or Mohan or anybody else? They are the ones who Mohan manages all our accounts, by the way. He is, so where, he where is do we send it now? Where yeah, do we send it? We'll send you all the details. We, we, we still need to work with the bank. And the, so the Ministry of Home Affairs has approved. Now I need to forward that certificate to the State Bank of India. They can't send money to where we have the bank account. No, this is a separate bank, separate bank account, and all foreign money should go into that account. So now I forwarded this certificate to them. They have to now open the chabi with that certificate and then say, yes, now you can donate. Now people can donate to this account. So that process, we're still in the process. And I'm planning to call that bank today. And so after that, we'll let you know. And then I... Our foreign contribution, they have centralized to understand how it is comes to whom it comes and all. Previously, each bank was there, there was no collation of the data. Correct. Yeah, Monies were going everywhere, even though a, a digital, digital system is easy to figure out. But still, it's all centralized. Foreign money to India has to come only to the State Bank of India and only to this Delhi branch of State Bank of India. So now there, it's like, that's the way to do it. Still Havala and, comes. Yeah. So I, I think that's a good way for the government to monitor all these inflows. And it puts a lot of burden on us. So every time we get a donation of $100 or $500, we have to not only track the income, how did I use the money? 
it's going to be a big thing. We're going to have with a meeting now shortly this week or next week with our auditors. They're going to tell us all the burdens that are going to come with that. It's okay. We'll do that. It's 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 paperwork, and we have we have to do that anyway. We do that anyway also, and so it's not new to us. But this time we have to show it on paper to the to the bank and to the MHA. So is the ATG is clear now. No, our ATG is not clear yet. We are going to go to the appellate tribunal. So those of you who don't know, there's something called ATG, and what that is is. It allows an Indian donor to get tax exemption in their when they file their taxes. It's ATG. We had ATG, a, a provisional ATG, but that got rejected recently, some two, three, four months back. Because of some technical reason, they said we did not provide some documentation. Well, we provided documentation during this corona period, May to 2020, we provided all the documentation. But uh, the departments were closed. Email we sent, registered post we sent, we have all the evidence. They did not acknowledge, they did not, they said we didn't receive any documentation. So we deny your. So we have to appeal now. Appeal. So it's still in the process. So hopefully Ramuji will uh, we'll cross that also and make it easier for our donors. The prayer. Any thoughts or questions? Dirikumaji, there's a problem with uh, <clears throat> FCRA rules uh, when we are trying to uh, do the transfer to other uh, organization, non-profit organization. They, we need to mention uh, the purpose of uh, transfer. And uh, when we are trying to do that for IHR uh, from here to India, I could not do it. So then we found like different ways because the purpose classifications uh, they had given in uh, banks for white transfer. It didn't have, even for a donation also, it doesn't mention anything. So, so here's the question, Prasad. Yeah, I'm aware of that. And mm -hmm. when did you do this? When did it, what was the time frame when you did this? I did uh, last uh, two months back and uh, one, and a, one and a half months back. All right. So, and both times it failed or what? Uh, first time it just they sent it back because uh, I used the same uh, purpose which I used to do earlier. Uh, before FCRA uh, 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 tightened it. And then, uh, uh, so mm, uh, we didn't send that way. I was trying to uh, talk to the banks here. They said, uh, yes, there's a problem. Many people are trying to send it, but we could not. Everywhere it's a problem. It's coming back. Fair enough. I think we are aware of that. And uh, we sent some money from Ashavidya Satsanga to Swamiji, Swamiji's trust. Just, uh, was it just... Ago. Oh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, yeah. About a month ago. Months ago. And last time when we sent the money, it got bounced. Bounced. Two times we sent, bounced. And finally, finally it came. Some some few thousand dollars we sent. Finally it came after a long time. This time we sent it within 24 yeah. hours. Yeah, I Stop. think the key is, let me tell, uh, jump in a little bit. It is all quite a bit dependent on what information you provide from a sender perspective. There are certain things which are, which probably raises some red flag or something they reject it. So you have to be very clear, like what is the purpose? It is not to buy some real estate or some car. Some some there are few things. Uh, the, even normal wire transfers, there are some regulations now. So. That say that, that's something before we open to FCRA to uh, people yeah. to grants, we need to be uh, we need to be very clear how the process works. Otherwise, yes. we may have some difficulties. That's why we are taking it because we, we are also learn. We have, there is a learning curve for everybody on this. So we are trying to. There are several questions. Me and Jagmarji talked about in the last uh, maybe five one week or so. There's a lot of things going in our head. Well, how do we deal with this? So it is not. A, there's a lot of restrictions for good reasons, and uh, so that is one of the reason I found because I have heard about what Prasadji, what you're saying from others also, but it's all boiled down to what is put in the uh, when you send the forms and things like that, and 
purpose and a lot of other things. You know, you may have seen that. It's a five, six pages questions. They will ask a lot of things they are asking. I myself have done once and it, it, it's very... Halfway through, I thought, let me give up and I'll send some other way. So. Yeah. yeah, so I think... Uh, <clears throat> so, the, the, the lot of hard work has gone into all these things, right? So, our Mohan Sai, who spoke just now, he's the one who, who who keeps all these transactions. He has access to the bank account. He keeps everything. He provided a lot of reports that the CA wanted, FCRA wants, Indian IT department wants, everything he had, he, he's been helping. Then we have another Vijay Sundaram. I don't know if he's there here. He's not here. But he's, he's, uh, he's, Vijay Sundaram has a lot of experience working, working with NGOs. So he knows what kind of paperwork needs to go in and how to submit them and everything. So he's been very helpful. Uh, he's been guiding us, trustees, what to do next, etc. And all he was doing it. So it's a lot of burden it takes. And then thanks to all of them, Mahesh keeps track of many other transactions. And budgeting, Mahesh does the budgeting for us. And what save activities are going, education, this much you have spent, Veda Patishalas, this much you have spent, and then um, temple and other cultural activities, this much you have spent, you have to categorize the budget that way. So he's been doing all that for us. And so really, a lot of help from many, many people we've, we've had. So, so yeah, this will be a new phase for us and we will learn, we will learn how to do it but it allows us to even expand if needed, right? We have a lot of, we say, we've put a lot of projects on hold. Asked, uh, you know what? Some Veda Patashalas are calling us. You won't believe this. Somebody from Chennai called me. He's a, he's a Ganapati. Ganapati means, you know what? There's no, no greater title in a, in a Vedic society than a Ganapati. Okay? He's a Ganapati. He calls me. Young man though. Young man. He calls me and says, uh, there is a family that's in difficulty. Not my family, but there is a family in difficulty. The, somebody passed away in their home and they don't have money to do the last rites. Can you believe this? I was so happy to receive that call. Okay. I said, yeah, we'll give you. Well, 20,000, 20, is it all right? I mean, I discussed with the trustee. And then the, the, he was so happy. He sent photos and all that. Poor family, Vedic family. And uh, they, they they use that money and things like that. Like this, uh, we get some very interesting calls. Very interesting calls. Somehow the word has gone out. Because during Corona, what we did, we supported many Vedic families. Very small amount also we gave. 3,000 rupees per month for 16 families. We identified 16 poor Vedic families in Coimbatore. Yeah. Okay. And then gave it. Like this, we did for three, four months. Yeah. And so somehow the word has spread. You know, they have their own WhatsApp groups and all that. And uh, so three months back, I got a call and I had to de decline, decline, because we didn't have the money to give. But uh, but the opportunity is huge. We want to support the education of uh, children from these communities and uh, let the way the Patishalas thrive, right? And that's a key, right? What is the use of sending all our children to some education and Vedas, nobody is there to study? That's very sad, actually. We have to really work hard on this. It's easy to sit in and talk. Village, in our village, the Veda Parashala is there in Palakkad, Pirumba. Sure. We don't get people from Tamil Nadu, Kerala and all. We have, we have to bring people from UP, Bihar and all. See that. See this. You go pick some people from, from a poor state and then he say, you study the way. Because, and we'll give you some money. So it's a very sad situation. and But we want to turn it around. And uh, we will turn it around. And uh, so our Sharada Ji, who is in your classmate here, and uh, her son, we should, I should mention this, son is a very famous uh, neurologist in America and young man and he has children and he and his wife and children just shifted off to the India and uh, in a village Tenkasi settled down there started a Kanya Gurukulam I think all of you should know this 
if, if you can, you should visit that. Kanya Gurukula means young girls are there. They are taught all the education, Sanskrit, sciences, and then the, the uh, stotras, everything. Whatever ladies should learn, they, they are taught. And so family supported only girls. It's only for girls. Started with two girls, his two daughters. Now, yesterday he called me, two days ago he called me. He said there are now about eight or nine girls and supported by our Shingeri Acharya. Supported means blessed by the Acharya. And uh, so like this, we are seeing pockets of resurgence and uh, we need to take it forward. That We'll do. I mean, any ideas you have, you let us know. We have to connect. We, we have to network on these things so that we virtually can benefit from that effort. So, any thoughts, feel free to share. So, there are a lot of initiatives like this. People are supporting uh, the The children of Veda parties, if they don't want to become Veda parties, then we have a problem. Correct? And so, my idea next is to have a meeting with these people and say, look, you are telling me that your children, oh, if you have three children, at least one child should become a Veda party. You, no point blaming us because we, we, are, we are already out and our children are outer, okay? We are out, our children are outer. So, the, you, we can't, you can't expect us to become Veda parties. So, what about you? What can we do to help your children become Veda parties? You tell me. I want to have a conversation like this with some senior Veda parties of Veda, Koyamathur, for example. Start with Koyamathur. One hammer. I'm thinking of something. Devi will make it happen. Thinking of. You tell me what we should do. You tell, we've never spoken to you. We are concerned. You're also concerned, but uh, you never I've never heard you, your ideas. So I want to do that. Medical benefit, education benefit. We'll provide you the education benefit. What else do you need for him to be away of the party? Do you need a proper house? You know, means you need a bigger house. Let's think about it. Let's talk about it. Because there are some weather, one of the, the two of the weather parishalas whom we supported, now that person is doing very well. All the children are learning very well and it's, it's solid weather parishala it has become over the last few years. So, we, we have some experience as a parishala. So, what do you need? What do you need? You tell us. Systemic, is there a systemic problem? What is that systemic problem? So, I want to approach that. I want to see. I want to do that. If any of you have ideas, you let, let me know also. The one experience that I have is, uh, basically, they they are a, a Vedic scholar, but his children uh, did not go to, into the traditional kind of Vedic um, uh, practice. That is because, again, like the discussion was, Who's going to give a daughter to this? Suppose uh, the, in the Vedic family itself, if they have somebody who has has a job or educated or something, then likely that they will settle better. Uh, whereas suppose they do even Vedic practice, who's even going to give their daughter? It's like, like the society acceptance is not there, which kind of uh, prevents the younger generation to follow, though they are proficient in it as a livelihood or as a uh, life, life form, like because our Vedic culture is practicing it every day. So they yeah. feel like, uh, you know, their children will also again go through the same practice is like almost shunned by the community. Uh, they might be accepted, but not to the level that their aspirations are. Right. So I think that's a very valid point and that's what we hear all the time. And uh, so maybe that becomes the number one topic to discuss. I know this is your concern. Like how many people are ready to give their daughter to a Vedic um, scholar? 
So what I'm saying is this. Let's start to keep that as a problem. This is the this is the problem. Number one. Number one problem. How do we address it? Let's have a series of meetings to discuss this. We, unless we discuss it, we are not going to solve the problem. And we can't keep on saying the same thing again and again. I'd rather let's discuss it. What do you what do you want to do? How do you do you think this will change or it won't change? Or if you think it, there is a possibility of change, let's discuss that possibility. Let's bring it out. Let's just open the envelope, test it. Let's talk about it. Do you do you do you need for more weather part ashanas to come together and discuss the problem? Do you have any ideas? Uh, yeah, better education to our children is a, 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 a science educated person plus a Veda party is very respected. Is that right? Did you say that? Let's talk about that. If this, uh, if you feel like that, let's do that. How, what do you want us to do? How do you want us to support you? Science education you want and Veda party, let's do that. We want to, you want to buttress your Veda Patishalas with better education. You want more teachers to come to your Veda Patishala? Is that what you want? Yes, we want better math teachers. Let's, we are now we are talking business. Yeah. Now you are talking business. Let's, let, let it come out through the discussion. I want to see that, uh, Mohiniji. I want to see that. And uh, concerns, that's it. That's the concern. That's the number one concern. Expectations are so high. You know, can't even afford a smartphone. Everybody is walking around with a smartphone. What kind of life is that? Right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I correct. Very good point. Yeah, I want to see some pathways here. I want to see some pathways that uh, let's start nourishing that. And then in five years, we should be able to see some tangible result, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good point, Mohini. All right. So thanks for all that, uh, those suggestions. And uh, we'll try our best to keep you updated. We are very poor in keep, keeping people updated on our SEVA activities, but we are now learning that uh, we should do a better job. <clears throat> and we have Sriram and others working on the newsletter, Shashank. We have a newsletter team. Believe it or not, our Madhavi ji is there and they are going to come up with the next release, they said, newsletter. And we need some good writers. I'm looking for some good writers. Okay. Ideally, I don't want to pay a professional to do it. Okay, a Reasonable writing is good enough. Somebody who loves to write and will provide all the content. But there must be, a, you know, the newsletter should be readable. No? And it should be beautiful to look at. And nice small bullet points, nice Get a writer. If so you guys know somebody who would love to serve an organization, I'm looking for one. Because even if you pay somebody, a professional, that guy may not have our kind of mindset. And so we end up paying money for something that we may not get. So, or if I have to pay somebody, if you know somebody who does that, that also is fine. I'm willing to consider that. I love to write, but I, I, I don't have time for that. I mean, I, I, so the, that's, there's some needs like that we have. But um, thank you. Thank you all very much. So this, I think, is a big milestone for us. It will prevent us from going through. All of you have sent to my, Mohini Ji has sent to my personal account, right? And uh, like this, my personal account has some dollars. It all belongs to you, really. And we, are, we are, Mahesh is tracking on. And so, uh, you've been patient with us. Sending it to my personal account. One uh, US, US account is there. And then Swamiji's account here. And then all these things. We do all these things. <laughs> this thing better not be recorded. Because if somebody else, government is watching this, they'll say, what is this? You guys are... Doing all this money transfers, <laughs> all for a good reason. We will show all the very paisa we can show where it's been spent. We can do that. So, thanks. Any other final thoughts before we close? Yeah. <clears throat> Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Dhanvantaraye
ಅಮೃತ ಕಲಶ ಹಸ್ತಾಯ ಸರ್ವಾಮಯ ವಿನಾಶನಾಯ ತ್ರೈಲೋಕ್ಯನಾಥಾಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಹಾವಿಷ್ಣುವೇ ನಮಃ ಪೂರ್ಣಮದೂರ್ಣಮದೂರ್ಣಮುದಚ್ಯತೆ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ